Every single time I mention fine. anything to do with Fedora, it goes... I, I talk about Fedora, comments then go Red Hat, then IBM. And everyone's just like, IBM, IBM, IBM. Like, can we just... Can we talk about the thing I was actually talking about? Like, <laughs> let's let's not do that right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, I'll say quickly, IBM, you know, they, obviously there's some influence. They're a big company and mm-hmm. we're, Red Hat's now a big company. But Red Hat is really operated independently. Mm-hmm. And even before IBM bought the company, it was a publicly traded company with shareholders and, you know, in part of the you know, American capitalist system. And... Uh, the things that IBM is asking from Red Hat are really no different from what the stock market was asking right. from Red Hat as an independent company. So uh, when I say, trust me, it wasn't IBM, it's really true. It wasn't. Um, mm-hmm. Sometimes it's, you know, Red Hat being, you know, a company with 20,000 employees, billion dollar, multi-billion dollar revenue company. Is, it, is That's a big company. Sometimes it's just like, that's what's happening. We can mess things up all by ourselves. Um <laughs> don't need to it would be nice it actually um it, it's tempting to be like a scapegoat ibm yeah ibm's fault on the ibm's fault but you know uh, let's let's take some ownership here uh, well it would also be nice if you were like directly integrated in red hat and had the entire red hat budget to work with on fedora yeah right and so that's you know, we, we mentioned earlier um fedora like so i um I do not have anybody who reports to me. I mm-hmm. report reasonably high up into the Linux organization at Red Hat, but mm-hmm. I don't like report to the CEO or anything. Um, and uh, although there are a lot of people who are, are paid um, to work on a job where Fedora work is a component, where right. so they may maintain you know, some software and so working in Fedora as part of that is how they do it. Mm-hmm. There are not really very many people paid to work, to work full time on Fedora at Red Hat. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are people in, I mentioned the community platform engineering team that basically does, uh, supports the infrastructure for build infrastructure for CentOS stream and mm-hmm. for, uh, for Fedora. Um, and then you know, Justin uh, is our community architect paid by the open source program office. Mm-hmm. There are a number of other people like that, um, that we have a QA team that is full time as well. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to say quality team now. They wanted me to stop with the assurance because um, it's, uh, you know, we're trying our best here. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have that, but that is also, you know, um, we, we try to make it so that these roles are not um, the role doing it. The quality uh-huh. team is there to enable community quality team and make mm-hmm. sure that there's a backstop, that someone's there, um, but mostly to work on uh, enablement. Uh, a lot of companies have a mission statement that is um, a bunch of BS. <laughs> and I, Red Hats, Red Hats though, um, is uh, was actually developed by a bunch of Red Hatters working together in a kind of crazy way of, you know, in public. Um, and I will not be able to quote the entire thing because it's got a few more words than it should because it's, you know, um, done by a committee. But the, the point of it is to make better technology with open source mm-hmm. uh, by acting as catalysts in you know, communities and with partners. So rather than by doing it, like what what Red Hat is trying to do is find how we can multiply Mm -hmm. um the effort and so i think that that's the investment in fedora when it's at its best is working that way as well i think i Uh, just found it where is it catalyst to be the catalyst in communities of customers contributors and partners creating better technology the open source way and then a lot more words that i'm not going to read yeah yeah, right yeah but yeah it's good so i and that i think is what we you know red hat tries to do with their investment i'm really I'm happy that they pay me full time mm-hmm. to work on this. It's amazing. Um, but really, the bulk of work in Fedora is done by people who are not employed by Red Hat. Mm-hmm. Um, and Red Hat works by communi- you know, working in that community. And there's a lot of times where people are like, you know, Fedora exists only as a rel beta or upstream mm-hmm. for Red Hat or a, a you know, testing playground for Red Hat. And that's really not true. It exists for its own sake. And um, Red Hat sees value in it. And but mm-hmm. Um, there is value to Red Hat. They wouldn't pay me otherwise to do what I do. Honestly, we wouldn't yeah. need my job if it if it were just that beta. Um, it could, it, but we want it to be a functioning actual community with its own interests. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's 
com completely vital. And I feel like there actually aren't a lot of it, it, it's somewhat unique in open source how this works. And I think it's it's worked pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, it's worked well enough that um, you know, Amazon is now basing Amazon Linux on Fedora and working with Fedora. And they didn't come and demand that Red Hat transfer everything to a foundation and not work this way because they see, OK, this is there's been these years of stewardship. There's something it that works really, here. It, it's really an open source project we can get involved in. And it's not just a you know Red Hat backdoor thing. Uh, so <laughs> I think that's been some nice validation that mm -hmm. we're doing things well. Um, and that's true, obviously, you know, Amazon very large, but it's true of well, one way to put uh, it, yeah. smaller companies and individuals. It's that same, you know, you should get the value for yourself in mm -hmm. working in Fedora mm -hmm. um, and helping build, uh, you know, build an operating system that belongs to all of us. I think that's kind of what I what I love about it. Um, you know, you can be a, a Windows fanboy or right. fan girl or fan whatever you would like to be um, or an Apple you know, diehard. Uh, but even if you work for Apple, mm -hmm. like that doesn't belong to you. That belongs to, you know, uh, the ghost of Steve Jobs and the shareholders. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you work on Fedora like that, Red Hat may own the trademarks, but right. like when you work on Fedora, you are part of it and it is your thing. It's like having it, you own it and you can mm -hmm. do what you want with it and you can um, you know, help build it and make it better. And that's amazing and powerful. Uh, and yeah, like I'm happy to be part of that. I think that's making making the world better. That it definitely way. sounds like yeah. you're you're happy involved with it. <laughs> I don't know. You got a skeptical there. What's yeah. the... <laughs> no, no. I, maybe that's just the way I speak. I no. That's you definitely said. Like you've been involved with this what twenty years? You said. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. wouldn't. You wouldn't have been involved for twenty years if this didn't like catch your interest. If it wasn't something you really wanted to work on.